Hello and welcome to Business Week, the program that brings you top business stories that made headlines during the week, including interviews, features, market data. The use of cargo containers as an alternative to conventional buildings is fast becoming a trend, especially in Abuja. The cargo containers are now turned into fabulous structures that serve as homes and offices. Helen Osamede Akins reports. This building has changed the landscape of this busy area at Kuba Expressway in Abuja. It is made of cargo containers but looks like a normal concrete building. Added to the structure are large glass windows, woodworks, a roof and stairways that lead from one story to another. All these features give it a modern and outstanding look. Cargo containers are common sight at the seaport in Nigeria, brought in by ships betting every day, carrying imported goods. But here, some of the containers have been combined and turned into a comfortable workplace for a construction company. It has become a creative trend in the real estate business in Abuja and some other states in Nigeria. Going Maduguri to go and work on with the NGO and then then that one is hotel. Already we have everything. When we see it, we, we like it. Instead of using block to, to build house, they are using this water cabin to make the house. So that when they want to go to another another place, they will, they will carry it and go. With the high cost of renting an office or business space in the city center, many business owners now prefer the alternative of turning shipping containers into a smart workspace. If you don't want to use a uh, but this normal board that we use for cushion and some other things, we use a gymsion board or silicate gymsion board, we use it to do the partition. Then after that, we do our screening, we make it a house, three bedroom flats or four. We can even do a lot of things. Kende Ogunsaya is an estate surveyor. He believes the disadvantages of using cargo container at where its benefits and it should be banned. One of the causes of meningitis is heat. You see cases of meningitis more during the heat period. And Abuja is one of the areas that is prone to heat. If you go to Gogolada, for instance, you can't live in a container when the heat dies at the period of the um, um, dry season. So to me, I will say that it is not conducive and it shouldn't be allowed. It's just you can vouch against it because it's not giving us any economic value. Rather, it's even reducing the value of property. If you put your container in front of a house, let's assume uh, a, a six flat of two bedroom, you put a container there, you are reducing the value of the, of the, of, of the uh, premises. Nigeria is the 49th largest export economy in the world and the 124th most complex economy according to the Economic Complicity Index. Nigerians' economy is heavily import driven, that means more of these containers bring in goods, but fewer of them carry goods out of the country, leaving many lying around to waste. For those who fancy creativity, this novel way of turning a rectangular meter into a habitat space may be the future of urban development in Nigeria. <laughs> 